Hello, cooking friends and family. We are going to make some delicious butternut squash soup with bone broth. So this is my cast of characters. I'm gonna use a couple of apples, bell pepper, onion, carrots. I would use fresh carrots, but I'm out. So we're going for some frozen celery, garlic, and of course our beautiful organic butternut squash. So I'm gonna put my husband's mussels to use. He's gonna peel this, chop it, and put it in our slow cooker right here. And we are going to take some bone broth to pull this soup all together. If you have not watched my video on bone broth, I would highly recommend that you watch it so that you can always have bone broth in your freezer. I am thawing out a batch right now so we can get this fall started, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this fall started, y'all. So we are making a big batch of our beautiful butternut squash soup. So all of our veggies are chopped. I'm gonna show you the star of this show. This time I am using my beautiful bone broth. There's about eight cups in here of gorgeous bone broth. You can see all those delicious bits. We always try to keep some in our freezer. Ooh, a little tricky so that we can do just this very thing. I'm gonna fill it up. Probably, I like the way that that looks. So I didn't use all eight, probably about seven or six. It's up to you how much you do. You can fill it up more if you want. I just wanna make sure that they're all kind of coated right there. Give it a good mix. And then to this, super simple ingredients, very clean, try to get organic when you can. This is just a mix of salt and pepper, a good amount. I like to add turmeric to mine. Sometimes I'll do cinnamon and nutmeg too. But for this one, I want a little richer, kind of heartier flavor. Turmeric is really good anti-inflammatory spice. And then just top it with a little bit of fresh cropped pepper and my favorite sea salt, any brand will do. And then I like to add a good amount of just healthy fat. So I like to give mine a drizzle of olive oil. And then I'm also going to put a little pat of butter on top just to give it a little depth of richness. And I will cook this on high all day while we go out and play. And then we'll pull it together here at the end of the day. Ooh, baby. Our house smells so good, you guys. Ooh, I wish you could smell it. Okay, so our soup has been going all day. I basically just set it on high for six to eight hours, six to eight hours, and we just went on about our day. And when we come home, they're just tender and delicious. And I love this soup because it's literally like chop, chop, flop it in the pot. So now I'm gonna take my immersion blender and smooth this all down together. <laughs> Everything is good and creamy. I like to add in a can of coconut milk. You can use light or regular. And I like to do this while the heat is off. And then just gently stir all that yumminess in. An extra layer of flavor for you there. Oh, it's so rich and creamy and delicious. Another thing I like to do is add a little fat-free Greek yogurt just to stick that in there as another yummy layer. So good and creamy. You can add as much or as little as you like. It gives it a little extra protein too. Ooh, y'all. Check your seasonings before you serve it. Make sure there's enough salt, pepper, whatever else you might wanna add to it. And y'all, seriously, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below if there's something you would like to see me make for you guys. I love to do comfort food cleaned up. So really trying to focus on clean eating. Look at this, oh, so good. So let me know what you wanna see and I will figure out a way to make it healthy for you. And I just really appreciate you guys. So thanks so much for watching. This is my um, uh, butternut squash soup made with bone broth, turmeric, 
and I like to add coconut milk and then my um, fat-free Greek at the end as my little secret. So thank you guys. God bless.